Welcome. Today's lesson is going to be on vegetable crop seed ID. Well, I've got a bit of a treat for you today because I'm not going to be doing the ID session today. I have a couple students uh, who are on my vegetable crop judging team that would like to do it. They were kind of interested and I said, sure, why not? So you'll be hearing from uh, Oscar in the area of seed identification. And then there'll be uh, a young man named JP. He will be doing the, the section on insects. So at least I'm going to kick back and watch and relax. I think you'll learn a lot as well. So here it is. Vegetable crop ID, and we're going to concentrate on seeds. So Oscar, take it away. The first seed that we're going to talk about is pea seed. And pea seed is actually very easy to identify, although we don't quite see it on these because they've been dehydrated and preserved. Therefore, they, uh, they took out all the water. And also, they are, um, they are very smooth. Just like there isn't very much to say about them, they're also not very hard to identify. Just think of normal peas and you will know what pea seed looks like. On our next seed, we're gonna have parsnip seed. And as you guys can see, this seed is very oatmeal looking. And I feel like one of the best ways to identify this seed is by taking a look at the four stripes that each of these seeds has in the center. And let's take a closer look at that. So, as you guys can see, like, on this one right here, we have one, two, three, and four um, stripes going from the top part of the seed all the way to the bottom part of the seed. And you guys can see that it's like that on pretty much all of them. Also, this seed is extremely flat, and it is also typically a really light yellow color. At times, it turns brown, like you guys can see on these. But for the general part, this seed is actually really interesting due to the fact that there's a lot to look at when you're identifying it. That's so our next seed. We have snap bean seed. Well, you're probably wondering why it has the word bean in it, and that's very obvious because these are actually beans and beans are actually kind of cylinder shaped you're probably looking at them saying what the cylinder but if you if you place them upside down they will look a lot like a round cylinder I guess you can say their surface is also very smooth and that's how I that's how you identify snap bean seed our next seed is lettuce seed and there's actually a lot to look for when you're identifying this seed. One of the main things to look for when you're identifying lettuce seed is that it's very flat and it's also very long and thin. By flat, I mean it's not very thick. And if I was to pick this up, and let me see if I can because it's a really small seed, you can see that there's hardly any thickness to it. Let's see if I can grab another one. It's very thin and also it's very long and fat compared to its width. As you can see, it's not very thick. And also its surface is, the surface of this seed is also extremely smooth. Very, very smooth actually. And if you were to pick these up again, you'd see that they're slightly dented. Not too much, but you can see that they are. It's like we can see on right here how they turn into sort of like a U shaped just slightly and that's how you identify lettuce seed we have artichoke seeds basically what you have to look for when identifying artichoke seeds is that they are very fat and thick as you guys can see these are also very fat and thick they're just not the same size and also that there are models that it's spotted. You can see that it's a, it has a lot of spots on it. Let me see if I can give you guys a closer look on that. It is extremely spotted and that's what gives it its texture. And these are the size of these are typically the size of a sunflower seed, if not a little bigger. They're also kind of cone shaped. If I was to Put this on the side. Not, 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 yeah, kind of cone. 
shape. It's really hard to see on these, but you, oh, this one right here is a good one. You guys can see that there's like the bump on there. There's that like crease, I guess you can say. Kind of makes it look a lot like a cone. If you were to place it in a, a vertical position, and yeah, that's really what you have to look for when you're identifying artichoke seeds.